Uh, shalom, shalom. I'm going to give all praises to Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Bashim, Kakadash. Put up my honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, who are the leaders and the uh, spiritual fathers of all of Israel, okay, who I've, I've taught this truth from. Okay, worthy, they're worthy of double honors. And I have an article here. Uh, from RT says, famine of biblical proportion looms over humanity due to COVID-19. UN food chief warns, and we've been preaching this thing for a while now, how the, there will be a great famine in the land. Um, just because I said that, maybe thinking not only the famine of uh, bread, but the famine of the word too. But here specifically, he's going to talk about the famine of the, uh, of the bread, meaning fam famine in food. Grocery stores and things of that nature. Um, farmers going through um, different um, lacks of supplies and lack of uh, distribution. Um, the clamps coming upon them. Uh, this article says uh, the COVID-19 pandemic may lead to a calamity of an epic sale with a, with a million facing starvation worldwide. The head of UN hunger fighting body has warned all the data we have, including F WFP forecasts that the number of people exercising Malnutrition will grow by eighty percent by the end of end of the year. Um, points to a real disaster. David Beasley, ex ex excuse me, director of the UN World Food Program, said, "We are risk, uh, risking a famine of biblical biblical proportions." And in my life, uh, only the glimpse of season seeing that was. Uh, the spark of uh, COVID-19, where the uh, stores was lacking uh, groceries, meats, um, meats and different um, canned goods and things of that nature, weren't in the grocery stores, and that's how we get our bulk of food. We don't have our farm. We don't have farms of our own. We don't have a source of food. Okay. So, um, Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans are going to be in a disadvantage when this. When a famine of of, of uh, bread and meats kick off, because the majority of us um, live week to week, day to day. Some jakes don't even know what the next meal they're gonna eat. So when this, uh, you know, hits the planet Earth and hits America, it's gonna be all all out devastation and chaos. The scriptures tell us that it says the rapid increase in the number of people who can find themselves. Will, will be just an immediate outcome of a pandemic which caused a disruption of uh, food growth and logistics worldwide. More long-term damage is was bound to materialize in the, in, in the years to come. Obviously, social tensions will grow, migration will increase, conflict will escalate, and hunger will likely affect those who didn't uh, experience before the, the officials um, told the... Um, our agency uh, tasks. First scripture I'm gonna get is Daniel twelve and one. Because the article is entitled uh, "A Famine of Biblical Proportion." Into the average person near my age, in my uh, age bracket, it's unprecedented for to, for things not to be readily available at their fingertips and uh, you know people in this world are um, um, overly um, decadent very decadent very um, entitled haven't really uh, went through hardships for the most part. And so. As the scene you're seeing it right now. Um, people are. Actually feeling. Hardships. They're actually going through tribulations. Because. Because of the lockdown. And there's no signs of it ever. It's changing soon. So. A lot of uncertainty. So it's a mindset change. And that's all through the Heavenly Father and His Son, Yahweh Bashimi Shai.
putting the squeeze on it to the prophecies, okay, which was told in the scriptures now. This is Daniel 12 and 1. It says, And at the time shall, shall Jacob, and at, and at that time shall Michael stand up the great prince which standeth for the children of thy people, and there shall be a time of trouble which as never was since there was a nation even to that, that same time. And at that time thy people shall be delivered, every one that shall be found written in the book. So that time that was never was before is a famine where you can't get your food. Going weeks and days without water and food is detrimental to somebody's body. Now that's going to be on a wide scale. And, and uh, you're going to have to hunt. You're going to have to... Do what it takes to get food, and what is that? How do you? How does that come? By stealing from another person, by betraying somebody that's close to you, betraying a stranger, uh, uh, um, um, attacking strangers for food, killing for food. That's gonna be the tribulation that's coming to the world. That's when the whole jig is up. That's that's when it's um, it's do or die time. And that's what that's talking about here. The biblical proportion. That means it's not going back to anything else. You got to get it how it is. Then in that time. Because when you when you don't have any food. And you, you want to fill your belly. You will do anything. The average person will. Now the Heavenly Father. Is going to have the men of the Lord. To eat in that day. And if we do go hungry. He's going to provide food for us. Enough for us to live. Until he has for whatever he has for us to eat. That's just what he's promised to us. Now this is Luke 21 and 11. And a great earth, it says in great earth, earthquakes. And in diverse places and famines and pestilences. If, and fearful sights and great signs shall there be from heaven. Now this article is talking about that. The article is talking about that. How the food supply is going to be low. Millions are going to die from starvation. Millions are dying from starvation uh, right now in, in America and in different countries. And the, and the leaders, the rulers of, uh, of this world, the, the, uh, the global bankers with the Rothschilds and the Rockefellers, they don't mind seeing people die from starvation and die from hunger and, and uh, going out rioting for food when they shut the economy down. That's what they set up for this thing to be. Now the uh, the Lord told us this, told us to watch out and to, uh, and to look for this day to come. Then we know when this comes, this we're going to be closer to the Lord coming back because that's the ultimate prophecy. About around this time, you're going to have to need a what RFID chip, a microchip. Now, now they're talking about things like a, a neural link, so they're. Putting it out in the public that this is going to be the new standard of currency, the new exchange, the buying and selling. So money is going to be uh, obsolete and irrelevant, the paper money. Okay. It's, it's going to be crazy, okay, out here. And I pray to the Lord that we endure to the end so we wouldn't have to take the blunt of, of, of the punishment that the, the people of this world are going to face. Scriptures talk about how people are going to be fleeing from from death and uh, and like they're going to be roughly paraphrasing they're going to be uh, putting their put their hand on a wall to basically flee from some from an uh, from something and then a, a bear or a lion met them so they're going to be fighting for their lives uh, all all time around all, all clock around so twenty four seven they're going to be in a state of par uh, a, a, a state of um getting preyed upon preyed and attacked okay death meeting them this is a Matthew 24 and 7 it says for a nation shall rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom and there should be famines and pestilence and air frequency in diverse places now a famine is considered a pestilence when you don't have uh, crops going to distribution to, to warehouse uh Distributed to warehouses to get packaged up, to being shipped to Walmart, to being shipped to Kroger's and places to be bought from um, from individuals to eat. 
to put in their kitchen. When you don't have that and it's shut down, that's a pestilence. That's a pestilence. Okay. No more Dollar General, Dollar, Dollar Tree. I just can't, I just uh, bought some stuff for Dollar Tree, like a water, six six water cases of water. You know that's why um, it's urged now to get a little bit more if you go grocery shopping. Some some um, some things planned for uh, if if they shut everything down, it's going to be a lockdown because it's looking like that moving forward towards the election. Um, uh, October, November, October surprise, November, January. Okay. So that's what's prophesied in the scriptures. A famine, a famine of biblical proportion is, is a is a is a good title. Okay. Cause let's say if uh, the vaccine for uh, coronavirus comes out in, um, there is a mandatory va uh, vaccine, and you can't go into these uh, different stores if you haven't got it because you um, considered the danger to those who um, the, uh, and that's crazy because if a person has the vaccine and a person doesn't wouldn't you wouldn't a person who uh, has the vaccine be safe from a person who doesn't have a vaccine hmm hmm think about it you know like my boy Black Ram say. So none of that. So all this uh, 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 talks of um, prospering in this land. Okay, Donald Trump is uh, praying for Donald Trump to stay in office. That uh, um, that that uh, there's not going to be a uh, an, another J a, a Jacob's trouble, and there's not going to be a, a a time where it's going to. Uh, uh, hit the, a, dev, uh, a a catastrophic event is going to hit the streets of America. That's a lie. That's a lie. So don't listen to these false prophets and these false leaders on, 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 of Israel telling you that. Okay. You have to rightly divide the words and what the scriptures have prescribed to you, and listen to the true men who's telling you so. And this is De in Deuteronomy. About how uh, when the curses hit, uh, the curses that we're going to be amongst are going to be attached to us um, for, the, for for disobeying the Lord. <laughs> this is Deuteronomy 28 and 21. And it reads, The Lord shall make the pestilence cleave unto thee until he have consumed thee from from off the land where thou goest to possess it. So here in, 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 in America, in Babylon... The curses have cleaned it, cleaned unto us, which prescribed unto us, and the pestilence, up until the deliverance of of Israel, the elect of Israel, are going to cling unto you. So, up until that, up until that time, the curses are going to be upon you if you haven't repent and came back back to the uh, the land. And a famine is one, and I can go on and on about how how the body, uh, how the body is affected without. The nutrition, the proper nutrition it needs. We went to a twenty-four hour fast on the Day of Atonement, and and we went, to, and, and and that didn't um. That wasn't really an effect to us because we're accustomed to fasting. We are we're accustomed, in, okay, discipline in our bodies and what we intake because uh, uh, the diet, um, uh, of, of the average Israelite, is shitty, is poor. It's ad it's adverse to to the laws that we prescribe the dietary laws, so it's going to be diff more difficult for you. Um, um, basically, living adverse to the dietary law is is a, is a, is a um, recipe for disaster because it it, it destroys you. Another pestilence are the diseases that Jake uh, inherit. In their bodies when they eat the the, the f sort of foods they eat pork and etc shellfish and etc. Now our ver our 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 diets when we intake ain't perfect. Or, you know it's not perfect can't be perfect but it's definitely better than the average American's diet. 
your fast food uh, on the go sugary diet to the best that our bodies can that uh, individual persons can can handle you know we know our limits and uh, yeah so the UN's calling for the US, UN's calling and and, and uh, wanting for that you're seeing uh, in Iowa you're seeing the Midwest states the farming industry is going downhill so you know it's going to be it's going to be hitting soon okay I'm going to give all praises to you. How about Shimei Oshai, by Shimei Kakadash, the wives of the apostles and elders at Great Millstone, who will peace and blessings to the elect. Shalom.